I'm Sarah Squire with Adam Smith Works, and this is the Smith Questionnaire. I'm Tom Palmer with the Atlas Network, and I'm about to take a test I had no time to study. Best kind of test. You can't fail this year. It's going to okay. be good. You ready? Um, I'll do my best. Would you rather be loved or be lovely? Lovely as in lovable. Yes, lovable. Wealth of nations or theory of moral sentiments? It depends on what kind of nerdy mood I'm in. Uh, I think theory of moral sentiments should try to be a better person, wealth of nations to understand the complexity of the world. So why not both? Uh, well, both, for yeah. sure. Um, was Adam Smith a dog person or a cat person, in your best estimation? We don't know, so just guess. You know, given his scholarly life, I think he would have been a sit down and have the cat smuggle with a person, and not a go running with a dog person. Yeah. Yeah. What do you pursue from pleasure that was once followed from necessity? Which is something Smith says about things like hunting and fishing. Pardon me. We should talk tomato plants sometime, probably. What does your impartial spectator look like? All dark and handsome. Uh, <laughs> Actually, impartial. Well, yes. <laughs> I have a kind of different one that I think mm. lots of us do with this. I sometimes ask, what would my parents think of me? It's not exactly the impartial spectator, but it is a sense of, am I acting the way that I would be proud of? Mm -hmm. Answer, thank you. Smith warns us that too severe an application to study sometimes brings on lunacy and frenzy. So should we be worried about you? No! <laughs> Um, which Adam Smith book are you? The History of Astronomy. One of my favorites, too. Last question. If an afterlife exists, what would you like to discuss with Adam Smith when you get to meet him? How to become a better person. One hopes that in the afterlife there will still be room for improvement. <laughs> so that's the question that I would like to take to my other people. That's a great answer. Thank you very much, Tom. Thank you. Always a pleasure.